Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Prospect Central 101. My name is Chris Robbins, and today we continue our wide receiver blitz a little bit more with another slot receiver, and that is Penny Hart. He is a fourth year junior who declared early from Georgia State. I uh, don't really see that a lot from a smaller school player, so that's kind of an interesting decision on his part. Uh, however, he did graduate and get invited to the Senior Bowl, so props to him for that. Uh, he's listed at 5'8", 180, so a little bit smaller than Andy Isabella, which is kind of crazy. Uh, 8 and 78 hands, though, which is not bad, and 31 and 3 8 arms, which is not great, but it's kind of okay, so... Um, depending on each individual team, obviously each team is going to have their own set of measurables. And, uh, we'll all figure that out, and that, that changes from general manager to general manager. So, uh, with that being said, for those of you guys who did not check out either of the, well, I should say at this point, any of the earlier videos uh, that we have done today, we did Tyree Brady, we did, uh, Hunter Renfro, and Riley Redley. So, uh, definitely go check those out after this, or now, if you haven't already. Uh, we also have a few other ones that are already on the channel from before this receiver blitz. So, definitely go ahead and check those out as well. Uh, so, for those of you guys who aren't familiar with our wide receiver blitz day today, it's kind of something that we're doing this year uh, on January 25th, 2019. And what we're doing is we're just watching a ton of receivers back to back to back to back to back to back to back, however many to backs we end up getting through, and um, posting them right after each other about an hour apart. And uh, it's been really fun. We've gotten to learn a lot about these receivers in this receiving class. And uh, props to everyone who submitted a request for the breakdowns on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. Uh, so definitely, again, feel free to check us out on those platforms at ProCentral101. Uh, it is our Twitter at if you don't follow us there already. Uh, you can get notifications on when we post our videos and some other draft news and updates and things from some of the other draft people. I uh, retweet draft network and stuff a lot from there. So, uh, yeah. Uh, with that being said, I uh, hope you guys enjoy Wide Receiver Books so far. Let's keep it moving with Penny Hart. Uh, there are three games, of course, smaller school opponents for two of them, but we also have NC State, so I'm actually going to save that one for last, and we'll start with King of South State, since that's probably the smallest school of the three here, and uh, get right into this. Also, if you guys have a suggestion, uh, definitely feel free to hit us up. Even if we don't get to it today, uh, we will in the very near future and stuff like that. Uh, before, and maybe even after the draft. Here we go. Nice quickness on the screen. I really like his uh, fluid, smooth motion. Okay, so this is nice. This is real nice. I've talked in some of the earlier videos for those of you guys who are following receiver books this week, or I mean today, and um, talking about receivers staying centered in their blocks and getting themselves positioned against the cornerback to make a block. And Penny Hart here shows exactly what I want to see in that aspect. Watch here, you see how he's lined up with the corner? Beautiful. Doesn't let him get this leverage too much, and when he does, he takes it away. Excellent physicality and blocking. That's fantastic. Especially for a smaller guy. Love to see it. Oh, nice quick cut here. Seeing a little bit of flashes of Riley Ridley from earlier today. Right here, bam! You're going to see him, and it's not an overextension either. His leg is still slightly bent, which is nice. You're not going to have any injuries that way. Then, bam! But he still has such a nice job here, does such a nice job of reducing wasted motion, critical on routes. Excellent. Time of the screen. Nice quick turn. Oh, and he has number 18. Uh, if I did not already say that, I don't think I did. 
Okay, and here's another thing I talked about earlier today during Receiver Blitz. He's doing a really nice job um, of, of revisiting these these traits. So what I want to show here is I talked earlier with Riley Ridley about this. And it's about finding space and finding the areas of the zone here. And what I love about this play is he reads this defensive back here is going back and he reads this guy is in this zone here. And this guy in, the, in between the hashes. So what he's going to do is he's going to sit in this space in this zone and maximize his separation at a really high level. In fact, I'm actually going to slow this down and break this down for you guys a little bit more detailed here. So you guys can kind of see what I'm showing. It's going to be at the top. And then bam, right here. See, he can easily keep continuing this post route here across the middle. And most likely be covered by this defender uh, on the very, very far right of the screen, if you guys can see my mouse. Um, or even he, if he wanted to cut this harder in, he could run into this defender here and possibly this guy, depending on how far he takes it. But what he's going to do here is he's going to just sit in this area of the field in between the hash and the out of bounds line boundary. Boom. Look at how much separation he creates by doing that. Five yards from each guy. Of course, it's off his hands because it's a little high, which kind of points out one of his biggest negatives. But I love the idea. It's a great, great vision on his part. Great field awareness. Excellent job bringing the coverage. Uh, he's just not tall enough to be able to make that play. Which is where height factors. Uh, obviously, he's a slot guy, which it's obviously a little bit more normal to be small, uh, but it's it's still a factor in, in being able to reach those higher passes. So, nope, a little too early. There it is. Boom. Okay, a little bit of bend. Nice. Avoids the defensive contact. Very, very nice. Oh, nice job, Edith. Quarterback to stay in bounds. Nice hit though too. Bottom of the screen this time. I like is again the quick turn, limited of uh, or the limited wasted motion. There we go. Probably honestly a good decision to drop that, assuming they didn't roll that fumble. Again, great job of being, oh, kind of overran, but still, again, I like the recovery here. We're seeing a little bit more of the effort with the blocking in from him as well. He originally here does a nice job of staying centered, loses a little bit of that underneath leverage toward the LOS, line scrimmage. But what I like here is he still tries to push him out of the play without taking a penalty, of course. And ends up taking away that defender. So overall, a little bit more effort in the blocking from him too relative to some of the other receivers, which is really nice to see. Oh, nice play by the quarterback. Flying the screen. I like how he kind of took an outside route on that hitch. It's a little unique. Most of the time, guys run insides on those hitches. Uh, but he decided to take his outside, which is actually kind of different in a good way. It's really interesting. Quick turn on the screen. Nice decision to hand off by the quarterback. Fumbled, though. If he wasn't down. I forgot to turn back to full speed. Oh well, at least I can show a couple of other things and check out his, how quick his get off is. And we kind of see a little bit of that here. A little bit of a quick get off. Obviously, again, they still kept this in slow motion, so it isn't half speed. But we do see a really nice first step here. And he does pretty, he's not elite in this area of taking away all the space and being full speed right off the snap. But he does do a really nice job here of getting down the field and not wasting too much time. 
So it's more so the acceleration uh, that isn't elite, elite like a Hollywood or Deontay or someone like that. And here we still see manage to see that he does have some uh, initial acceleration. It's just not like that elite burst. Uh, and again, also I, I would like to point out here that he does a really nice job here of slipping between these two defenders and creating that space and finding that hole. Now this will be interesting to see how he plays this corner. Oh, uh, he's running away. So hopefully he's coming back across the screen. Unfortunately, from this angle, we can't exactly tell. Uh, but what you would ideally like to see on this play is, is Hart coming back across the screen and going toward the left boundary. Oh, that was a late hit. That should have been a flag. Okay, block. No, not. Inside slot receiver here. Pressure. Okay, so this is also a really nice point that I mentioned once or twice in the earlier videos today. Watch how quickly Penny Hart turns his head here, what, knowing that the pressure is coming. All right, he's five yards off the line, and he's already looking for this football as a hot read. That's really, really nice to see, because uh, if this quarterback ever feels this pressure, he knows that Hart is ready for the football and able to make this play. And, of course, he doesn't actually get the pressure because this O-line actually does a really nice job with this blitz on this right side. Right side. Uh, but he still throws it to her anyway, knowing he's, again, prepared for this ball. Nice shot of extending the hands, bringing him back in. Easy possession catch. Very nice. Nice hitch. Good job of not taking the penalty. Kind of just got outmaneuvered there by the corner. Bubble fake. Same thing we saw a lot with Hunter and Pro. Okay, this time they throw the screen. Nice hands catch. Do you like to see that? That was kind of a big block. Nice show of slipping out and winning contact. I really like his quickness. His fluidity and motion. He, he's able to change direction so quickly and smoothly. I mean, it doesn't even look like he's taking like the sharpest of cuts, but he's able to change that direction so drastically out of to avoid the hit. Wow, he's actually pretty impressive. Of course, I mean, he obviously he's smaller, so. But still, really nice trait. Nice quick turn. Okay, good way to get the ball to him in space. Uh, something that we're going to want to see some. Pretty good play call here. Nice blocking. Great play design by Georgia State. They call on the halfback, I believe, and the fullback, or tight end of some kind. And both of them end up making their blocks. That's just really well designed, really well executed play by everyone on that Georgia State. Great side. Nice. Touchdown for Penny Hart. Oh, that was beautiful. Underrated aspect of receiving play here from Hart. Watch how this guy is coming across his play and almost knocks him off his route. He manages to somehow still slip around him and get, in, get outside freely. Oh, nice. Nice job keeping his eyes downfield by the quarterback.
parts blocking. Okay, so one thing that I would like to see about his blocking is he does kind of sell this a little too early. This is a passing play, and almost at this point, you can tell by the lighter jog and the setup here in positioning that he's kind of trying to block, so he almost kind of gives away to the rest of the defense that this is going to be a slip pass. And as a result of that, the corner is able to take that position and make the play, or defender. And he was actually the guy that ends up making, making the tackle. Okay, it looked like a pick play of some kind, maybe. Uh, it looked like he was designed to, to run into the... Yeah, it looks like he was trying to take out both of these guys so that the running back, I want to say, has an easier lane without the defender there. But it didn't end up working out. It's kind of a silly play to run with a guy that small, to be completely honest. Oh, nice comeback. Okay. Oh, and again, that size just factors in there. He's a little too small to make that catch. Uh, but I really like how he wins that outside release, or yeah, outside release. Boom, just really nice shot off the snap of getting outside, winning the boundary, comes back inside here, really nice dip and bend on this route. Boom, nice shot of extending the hands, just too small to make that catch. So, really, height is the one big negative for him. It's kind of showing a little bit more than you would like. Like, if, for example, with Andy Isabella, like, it seems like it, he's still able to kind of high point the football a little bit uh, and, and get his hands up a, a little bit higher than his, his catch radius. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, Penny Hart's catch radius is a little bit smaller than you would want to see because of his height. There we go. I mean, that's a ball that he would probably have to jump for, whereas, say, someone like a 6'2", 6'3", receiver might not necessarily have to even really extend for in some, play, in some ways. Again, like how he finds the space here. Of course, the corner is doing a really nice job behind him. Nice quick screen. Play by the quarterback at that. Top of the screen. And again, we see a little bit of a jailbreak here from Hart. on the screen. Nice shot out winning that outside leverage. Bring the, the corner down the field. And again, we kind of see here, this isn't like exactly the perfect route, but you're kind of not always looking for a a perfect route because a lot of it is going to depend on where guys are at on the field and so like a perfect route might take you through like three zones and that's kind of a, a waste so what you really want to see here is how exactly he adjusts his route to the defense and he does a really nice job here of even if this is like an underneath route here this underneath route would take him through three zones 
this guy's zone in front, this guy's zone here, of course, and then eventually this guy's area here. So what he does is he delays this inside cut a little bit so that he can get behind the defender, giving him a little bit more space to work without having to worry about that defender coming up and making the play. It's actually a pretty nice play, even though it wasn't exactly the smoothest, cleanest in cut, he is able to avoid that defensive player and get around behind him. Nice inside sl uh, slant cut. Interesting play call. Quick screen? Nope. Quarterback run designed. That would have been a good time for a screen. First and ten in the fourth quarter, down six. There too, especially in soft coverage. Nice catch. Bottom of the screen. Outside. I like how he went outside in. It was almost kind of like a weaker double move. Screen. Oh, that was kind of poor. And honestly, my personal opinion. Watch how stacked this box is. One, two. Oh, I, I don't know if he really counts, but close enough at least. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine guys in at least the box area, if you don't want to count him, even so it's still still eight. And you have these two guys playing off coverage. Why not call a screen? And especially second and twelve. I would have been a perfect time to run him on like a quick screen or a bubble. And just bring him back around and in. Or just have a quick turn and then up. Just my personal preference. Instead of a run right into a stat box on second and long. Really weird play call there. I don't know if that was checked into. Maybe it was the quarterback's fault. But I don't know why he would check into a run in a stat box. No separation. What like? Okay, now getting to your block. Okay, it was a little bit late there to recognize the run, the handoff. Right here, he probably should have seen that this was handed off and started turning around to get into his block. But he kind of delays that a little bit, and the corner is able to come up and get him on the tackle. So, just a, a minor note. Nothing, of course, to be game breaking on you. Get there. Oh, man, quarterback. Oh, he got out of it, though. Okay, so, yep, there you go. Steve Penny extending the play a little bit. I don't like how he's running out here, though. That's kind of a... I, yeah, does he not realize number eight's right there? Maybe he sees that he's trying to go downfield? I don't know, what I would like to see here is, I would ideally, even though this guy is running to the left, number 8 is already right there, so you don't want to drag this guy into the play either. So what you're, uh, what I probably would have wanted him to do here is just immediately cut that back out and create a little bit of separation. And if I'm the quarterback here, you can probably stationary, avoid that defensive player here, because these two guys aren't going to come up or leave one of those guys exposed. If they're separated. So what the quarterback would be able to do, this guy's bobbled on the ground. You only have to avoid this one hit with like five blockers, four blockers there to clean up. So you probably just want to see him come back across instead of leading this guy into the play. Because now this guy doesn't feel the need to cover him with that guy there, so he's able to just make the tackle. Of course he had a little bit of help, but Good shot there, taking him out. 
Nice cut by the quarterback. Dang. Let's screen this hitch. Top of the screen. Again, just a simple hitch. Slot, bottom. Okay, top slot. Really nice shot was just slipping through that. Nice play by the quarterback to get that out. Fourth and three. Down by three in the fourth. Is he going to sit? Oh, it's fourth and 13. You can't do that there. Yeah, okay. Have to get downfield. Nice evasion. Unfortunately, he can't just get it out. Yeah, he had to there, though. Okay, like how I went across the middle. Oh, double caught that. Okay, so hands right here. He has both hands on it. He kind of juggles it a little bit. Almost loses balance. So just something to keep an eye on with the hands in the next couple of games. So I feel like I'm kind of missing something with this route. It was a nice simple drag route, but... I don't know, I feel like if the linebacker was covering that... Probably wouldn't have been as effective as it was. Okay, again, I really like how I won with the space there. Watch this again. He kind of takes this in a little bit toward the mid. Takes the mid mark. Cuts right. I don't want to say in because they're kind of midfield. Uh, but cuts to the right side here. And then he comes around left. To kind of free himself some space. And nice play recognition by this guy to realize the ball was released, which limits his rack. But regardless, a really nice out there by Hart. And I, again, I like how he kind of found that space in between the defenders and sat on it and waited for the ball. Very inside receiver. Oh, uh, vertical. That was an interesting decision. Okay. Trying to make a play too hard a bit. Get out. Okay. With your vertical route, I'll screen. And again, just kind of finds his way around the defender. Really nice. Just keep fighting for yards. Nice. Nice. That's a great play from 85. Really nice play. Nice out there. 
Oh, that was beautiful. And again, you just kind of see him find the space. So it's not exactly always sitting in zones either. It's about finding ways around defenders. And here you see him make this outside cut here. And then just simply change his direction a little bit to slight, slide past the defender. It was a really soft motion, uh, but it really did a lot of hard work. Okay, nice out cut. Oh, he threw that way high. Yeah, he had no chance at that. That should not have been a flag. Oh, that was nice. Okay, so I do want number 14 here to be a little bit more patient and just kind of sit behind while Hart runs this up. But Penny Hart does a really nice job here. A oh, bam! Right there as he passes him, hitting that next gear and creating himself and finding himself the space. Pre throw. Don't know why the quarterback didn't read that. As long as he gets out, it shouldn't be an issue. Picked up some yards. Okay. Again, that was almost a double move. Oh, what a catch. That's a touchdown. Nice. Huh. Okay, so that was pretty interesting games uh, from Hart. I definitely saw some good things to like there. And uh, definitely saw a couple of places where his catch radius may have been a little small. So, uh, very interesting to see that. Uh, hopefully we see some more positives show up and uh, see if he has any other negatives in the Detroit game. I did also like his blocking effort. It was uh, on a few plays. He did a really nice job with the blocking. So we got to see quite a bit in slow mo uh, and see some of the technical aspects. So this time we're going to keep it in regular speed uh, and see what we can discover in terms of athleticism here. Nice quick cut. And again, we see those those nice smooth movements with his cuts. And with regular motion, we get to see this nice burst off the snap as well, which is kind of cool. You guys will see on this play. Watch right there. Bam, nice first step. Hits top gear quickly. I like how he tried to come back for the ball a little bit. That was a very poor play call. I don't know what they're thinking there. On the screen. Also, I like again, we were talking about limited motion, lim or limited wasting motion rather. I love how he wastes little time in faking this out and trying to win this release. He just does a really nice job of keeping that clean. Oh, what a hit. Dang. Boom, what an ink cut. And again, we just see limited wasting motion, which is really, really nice here. Boom, step, and bam. Mistimed by the quarterback. Just get to see that nice vertical release down the field. Oh, 
So again, excellent job. It's even more subtle when you're watching regular motion. But you get to see a little nice subtle movement here. He's trying to win this inside a little bit. Watch how he avoids this defender. Right there, he just makes a little bit of an inside move. Oh, and that cut on the corner. Because on this C route, you kind of need to go out here. So he's trying to go out and then straight and then cut. But because this defender is kind of in his way from making this diagonal out cut here, he has to cut a little bit underneath him and then go out and then make the sharper cut out. So he has to find a way underneath this defender and then right here he's able to make that nice C cut. Oh, okay. It was he able to get his food back and bounce? And yeah, you see it even more subtly there. In fact, I'm actually going to slow this down. So you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about here. And this time I'm going to speed it back up. But watch here. Right there, he makes a little bit of an end cut. Just enough to get past the defender. And then he makes that nice cut on the C. That's actually not a terrible catch he is, but... Again, just not able to get his feet back in bounds. Uh, so, body control might be a little bit of an issue, but I think that has more to do with high pointing and uh, not being able to win 50-50s, more so than actual body control. This concept, at least, didn't work though. I'll cover. That was a bold play call. What are they thinking? I mean, it's a lot easier to sit at home and criticize this while watching tape, but... Like, are you seriously trying to play action screen inside the one-yard line? And a stat Was that stacked? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I would call that stat. And this guy doesn't even block the edge. That was a very risky play call. Oh, man. Oh! Oh! Okay. This flashy return ability here makes one guy miss, makes a second guy miss pretty bad. Uh, gets past the third guy, gets past the fourth guy, runs past the fifth guy with a little bit of help. Sixth guy barely knocks him out. That is an excellent return ability. Oh! Oh, he flattens him! Okay, a little bit more flashy play in this tape. Watch here, he's just going to take this defender and move him. And then the pancake to finish. That is, uh, especially for a guy that small, that is insane physicality and really nice effort blocking. Love to see that. That's coachable. Oh, fantastic. Boom. Great fail for space. Just a poor throw. I'm going to see if we can actually slow this down a bit so we can kind of see what we're dealing with with the throw. Not exactly pressured. Um, probably just expecting him to sit a little bit more or move a little bit more downfield uh, and he wasn't there. Or could have been a catch it radius thing again uh, where he probably expected Hart to have a little bit more ability to, to extend his arms out. Nice quick cut, beautiful, excellent, easy, early win, that's what, that's an early win. He's just going to, as soon as possible, free himself, get some space, easy five yards, plus. Okay, nice. Nice catch by 14. Okay, so we'll follow some court. Oh, 
Oh, ambulance. Okay. Just like, what is that noise? Maybe you guys hear that, it sounds like an ambulance to me. In real life. What was that? He was clearly going downfield. Was that supposed to be a comeback or something? I, not a clue. Because you'll see, Hark's clearly going down the field here. So I don't know if that was a miscommunication, or a poor route run, or... What? That could have been P.I. More so than some of the other ones we've seen. Okay, nice early win. Oh, man, he actually stayed in for a second. I like this run after catch. It's not exactly like your typical, like, wow, I got 50 yards after catch. But what he does here, boom, he stays on his feet, almost staying bounds. Oh, that was a subtle outcut. Watch this. He's just going to do a really nice job right here, it looks like. I actually got a very nice frame. He's going to subtly pause, and bam, cut outside and win the boundary. Overthrow. Again, size, catch radius, does not help. Right there. Oh, that's a great view of it. Watch this in slow motion. And we'll probably see a little bit more drastically here. Right about here. You see a little bit of an out with that right foot. And bam, he just cuts it right outside. Excellent. It's such a, it's so efficient is the word. It's really nice. That was a screen. Nice out cut. That was a oh, okay. For me I thought it was going to for heart. But yeah, that was a good read. Bubble. Oh, that was a nice inside win. Ooh, that didn't look <laughs> fun. Quarterback. Okay. That was an interesting throw. Okay, top of the screen. Fade route looked like. That was a slip screen is what it was. Went down the field, excellent separation with the arms, excellent catch, beautiful. Very nice wing rep here from Penny Hart. Watch this here. Again, well, actually, we'll watch it one time with uh, pauses. Right here, it kind of changes this gear. Again, right there, bumps it up. Boom. Right here, he passes him, uses that right arm to create a little bit of separation. And you can even see there's about a mouse's distance, computer mouse distance, <laughs> between a uh, heart and a corner. And maintains that separation here as he keeps going. Tracks the ball really well. Love watching his head here. Right here, you see him turn. Tracks it all the way in to the body. Comes down with it through contact. Beautiful. Now we'll get to see this here. I actually turn the single to slow mo so we can point out some of the more finer intricacies here. Again, great first step. I like how aggressive he is at taking every inch of space. Turns it on to second gear, got about five yards up. Turns his head very early on in the route as to not give away position of the ball. And again, watch his you get a really good look here at his hand usage. Just right here, nice extension, and then he extends. Out to create that separation. But yeah, he's also creating some separation with his legs as well. Has to slow down a little bit to make sure he doesn't overrun it. Actually gets his hands on that as well. Even though it's more of a body catch because of the position of the ball and the position of the route. Uh, he still does a really nice job of completing that catch with his hands. Uh, and then the finish of the play. So again... Talked about all, it seems like every single video I bring this up, these three phase plays 
Uh, really nice phase one of winning off the snap on that play. Really nice phase two with creating that separation with the arms and the legs. And then a really nice phase three with the finish and then completing that catching motion. So overall, very nice one drop there from Penny Hart. In fact, it looks like we're going to see the same thing here. We do. Exact same stuff. Watch here in fast motion this time so you guys can kind of see what he's doing a little bit quicker. I actually didn't plan that, but it worked out. Boom. Boom. Quickness. Boom. Quickness. Separation with the legs. Really nice hand fighting there. Gets his hands low to not give away body position or ball position. Completes the process of the catch. Excellent work. Oh, that was slick. Watch this. This is actually almost more impressive to me than these vertical plays. Watch what he does here. Right here. Gets this little help from the other receiver. And he just makes a nice quick cut. For almost four yards of separation. And unfortunately, for whatever reason, the quarterback fails to see that. I have no clue what he's looking at. He's not even pressured at this point. That's wide open. At this point, he's open. Like, you can lead him into the middle of the field without, without getting popped, which is, of course, important. Like, this defender's still backing up. He's There's no one pressuring him. This guy's got a good hold here on the block, not holding penalty. This guy's got, like, a good, nice, solid hold there on that defender. There's four yards of separation. He's just staring down this bottom read. I don't know why he didn't come up and check out Hart here. And even still, like, there's no way that he's, unless he, like, throws behind him, in which case that's on the quarterback. Still open. Still open. The finally starts running up, not seeing him open for so long. And the edge defender is able to get inside. I don't know what took so long for him to see Hart. That's just a terrible read by the quarterback. Or rather, missed read. Same thing. Oh, that was a screen pass. That's not his fault. That's designed. But they have called a vertical, though, there. There, though. Okay. Nice shot with slipping through. Again, avoiding this defender not getting knocked off his route. Boom, right here. He just avoids the contact. Especially for those smaller guys, that's even a bigger deal. Here's a good look. Right there, just knit slick. Oh, he actually had a little bit of an opening here. Oh, nice. Let's see. Okay. Curl route, just right through his hands, right? Oh my, yeah. He tried to body catch this. Okay, first off, why is he going for a one-handed catch on a curl route like that? Why is his right hand not... It's not like it's being interfered with. It's not like he's trying to sell it. Yeah, he just tries to go for the body catch there. Okay. Ugh. Bad decision. Or, well, bad execution, whatever I call it. Top of the screen. Nice job of winning contact. Nice job of getting inside. Slot here. Nice quick win. On the screen, this fake out on the fade. Tons of pressure, though. Oh, he got out of it. Okay. And again, 
for the upteenth time. Huge negative. You see the lack of catch radius here. Gets his hands on it. Not able to reel it in. Just not doesn't have the height. Nice job getting low and making that catch. I'm seeing a few more body catches from him than you'd want to see, though. And again, the catch radius factor. Just not able to... Oh, nice cuts. Oh, nice balance. Great play from 28. Nice in cut. Like the feel for space on that route again. Yeah, and body catch isn't exactly great, but oh, managed to stay on his feet, looked like. But I actually want to slow this down a little bit. Come yeah, he waits a little too long to get those hands extended. That was a really oddly timed mesh concept. Oh, I like how he's getting open though. Nice. 85. Alright, so we got to see a few nice things there from Hart. Uh, definitely, again, the route running and the intricacies that regard that. Uh, it was really nice. Got to see some. Uh, Really nice finer technical aspects with the separation as well, how it creates separation with the hands and the arms and the legs, uh, and things like that. Got to see some nice blocking as well, which is really nice to see. Uh, definitely a much better blocker than a lot of the receivers that we watched in this class. Um, on the other hand, once again, second straight game, that catch radius, the minimum range of arms, uh really really hurt him a couple of times so um that's def definitely going to be one of his biggest issues that he's going to have to overcome is winning at catch points high pointing balls winning those 50 50s uh and, and things of that sort so i got one more game to watch here uh versus nc state oh, I see like uh, and let's see what he can do here Versus probably the best competition he's seen. And already a nice catch. Nice shot winning off the snap. Boom. Nice. Oh, I meant to pause. Not rewind. Uh, really nice right here. Subtle cut. Boom. Quick. Nice job of just finding the football. Tracking it in. Right here. Boom. Turns his head as he moves out. Nice hands catch. Good to see that. Gets a sweet down, both of them for the NFL catch. Nice outside release. Oh, a nice catch by 14. Century again. Yeah. A couple plays on this tape. Fake? Jet? Okay. Oh, blocking! Awesome! Leads to the touchdown. Fantastic. Nice out cut there. Again with the fake jet. Love to see that play with him. That's a great use of, of heart. Using that motion. Want to see more of that next year. We've seen our offense in Detroit. Hopefully we will. I'm sure Bevel's got quite a bit of that. And even more there. Shrug him off. Get out. There you go. Terrible throw, but at least he was able to get it out. 
Nice cut. Oh, that was a great zag. Boom. Awesome blocking. Oh. Gotta love the motor and the blocking. It's awesome to see. Oh, what a... Oh, not the out, though. Nice pick route. Quick screen, no chance, it's blown up. Nice play by this North Carolina State corner. Nice sack, 29. Boom, nice out cut. Oh, you took it up. Oh, he almost comes down with it. Oh. You have to see this route though. Watch this out cut here. Boom, again. Look at how little extension out there is here. And when he's cutting back that the were well in, I probably should say. Um he just does enough here to keep that on a straight angle without extending too far out. But yeah, he still changes direction so quickly. And this is gonna be the key. Right here. Very limited wasting motion. Not a ton of bend and dip here. Uh, which is interesting. Of course, it's not really that big of a deal, but you're gonna see here. Nice out cut. Boom. Just kind of a, tr a little bit more of a subtle cut there uh, up the field. So not overly flashy cut, uh, but definitely does his thing, and and that probably isn't is why he wasn't able to get as much separation here on this up the field cut. Uh, he didn't exactly cut. It was more so just a, a adjustment of his uh, angle. An angle adjustment. So double moves are probably something that you want to work on with him a little bit. Uh, of course, that's not really that big of a, a deal. Most teams don't run a ton of double moves, especially for a rookie slot receiver. Oh, nice pump fake by the quarterback. Nice shot coming back from that for number six. Actually caught it, it looked like. Oh, sick play! Get the ball. Oh, he got a blur here at the end, though. Took a shot. But regardless, I really like this play call here, especially on fourth and one. Uh, just really nice discipline from NC State's left side of the defense, especially the safety. Was actually the one that makes the play. That's a great play from the safety. Watch how the safety here it just stays there and breaks down. Boom. Dang. That was a really nice play call though. Just <laughs> really nice execution by the safety. Oh, deep shot. That was kind of interference. Preventing him from coming back and making the play. Oh. Nice fake jet. I like the use of misdirection in this game. Just get it to him. Yep, there you go. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Oh, he has hover ripped off. But still, excellent rack here. This is Golden Tate-esque. Obviously, Golden Tate had a little bit more reliable hands and didn't mighty catch as much. But um, in terms of this after the catch play here, the finish, the third phase of the play, just really, really nice. Boom! Oh, that's why. Look at the cut. Boom! Able to create some separation there with that legs. Awesome. Oh, nice cut. Oh, what a block! That probably should have been a penalty, to be honest. But, regardless, they didn't call it. So, I like the physicality there. Oh, they did call it. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say that definitely should have been a penalty. Because uh, I was too far downfield. Right there. Yep. Good call. Okay, I looked like another one of those up the field double moves. Oh, I like that inside out move. Really nice. He has the route running, for sure.
simple hands catch. Fourth and six. Again. Oh, again. Finding that space. Love it. Creating a little bit of separation between him and the other defenders. So, I got to see a lot of Penny Hardaway. Actually, some really good tape uh, in terms of being able to assess and find things. Uh, really like his, his first off, his change of direction is amazing. Uh, really like his ability to find that space. We talked about that several times uh, in reading those defenses. Uh, definitely a fan uh, of his limited wasting motion. Said that several times throughout the making of this. Uh, got to see that a lot. Uh, overall, and his blocking, his effort and his blocking is, is very nice to see. Just that one big, big negative is that size, that, that 5'8", and his limited catching radius. He's not going to be able to get those 50-50s. He's not going to be able to high point like a lot of the other receivers in this class are. Uh, especially at 5'8", flat. At, oof. Oof. Yeah, that's that's big, especially if you're going to have like a stronger armed quarterback who's going to want to throw those higher balls and win those contested catch situations. It's not that he can't win contested catches, it's just that he has to be a little bit more patient with it. Whereas a corner, especially nowadays with your six foot, your six one, even especially your bigger guys like your Grease, your Kevin King six two, six three corners, that's a, your corners are going to be a half a foot taller than Penny Hart, and uh, that's going to cause some issues in terms of, of winning those high point balls and, and those catch radius, those contested catches. So you're not really going to be able to high point those passes. Uh, with those stronger armed quarterbacks with him. You're going to want to throw those lower targets. Probably going to want to throw a little bit more underneath. But yet at the same time, you're going to want to get the ball to him in space. And allow him to create some separation with his slants, his hitches, his curls, his uh, screen routes, etc. So, uh, it's going to be an interesting thing to see how an NFL team uses him at the next level. Because uh, there's a lot of different things that he can do. But he's really going to be limited by that height in those 31-inch arms. While a little bit bigger than Isabella, still not great. So, especially at his size. Oh, yeah. So, um, anyway, uh, definitely learned a lot about Penny Hart today. There was a lot of good things that we saw, both positive and negative on tape. Uh, and, yeah, that was a really fun video to make. So, uh, hopefully you guys learned a thing or two from this one. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, our Twitter handle is at ProCentral101. Uh, I at a lot of you guys back if you mention us, have some questions. Uh, also, you can ask me stuff on my personal Twitter as well, at C underscore Robbins underscore, uh, at least at the time of this video. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. And uh, don't forget to check out some of our other videos as well, if you like this one. Uh, we've done a few others today, as well as a couple others over the course of the last month or so, on some of the other receivers in this class. So uh, keep an eye out for more of our videos, and uh, we'll be dropping more soon. So hope you guys have a great rest of your day, or if you're going to plan on catching the next one, great hour. And uh, yeah, see you guys again soon. But for now, peace out.